What's up? How are you guys today? Another Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. Another week of complete ridiculous nonsense. So silly that you can't even make it up. On the brighter side, it is a beautiful sunny day, so I'm going to try to film this vlog really quick. Get out of here, relax, and lay in the sun. And <laughs> I spoke to the landlord last week, aka the management company, and they said, hey, you know, come down to our office, let's have a meeting, let's talk about what's going on. <laughs> no less than three days later, I was served with a termination notice on my lease, which isn't like an official document, it's not like an eviction, it's just basically the landlord telling you, we don't want you here, leave. They're claiming I violated the terms of the lease, which is completely factually incorrect. And I said, okay. I texted my lawyer, I said, look, let's, let's do something because I know this guy's really scummy. He's gonna try to do whatever he can to get me out of here. And <laughs> I thought that was bad enough, you know, telling you guys that he's trying to terminate my lease. The landlord clearly doesn't want me here. So, you know, we know this is gonna end up get ugly. First thing today, Monday morning, 8 a.m., I'm usually not down here yet. Fire department comes, FDNY, the inspector convinces one of my guys to let him in. He lied to him. He said, you know, because no one's allowed to come in your building without a warrant. And I've told my guys over and over again. So FDNY inspector lied to my guys, came in, took pictures of everything. And we're not doing anything here that's a problem. My concern is this guy's so connected, just them coming in the building and taking pictures. Who knows what kind of stuff they're going to make up or say just to attempt to shut down my business. I know that's not out of the realm of possibility. So, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't think that would happen before I could do something in the court or, or get my lawyer to do something. But, you know, th this guy's acting fast and he really doesn't want me here. He's doing some really scummy stuff. So we'll see what happens over the next few weeks. I'm just, I'm just re really, really over this. This guy's a complete dirtbag. It's like the classic, you know, big guy versus little guy, the billionaire versus the not even millionaire. It's just, it's just disgusting, disgusting behavior. And, and, and what really gets me, he, this guy is like a two-faced backstabbing prick just like my last lawyer. Uh, and this happened so many times with my last lawyer. I'd call him up on the phone. He said he would do this or that or file this or that. Never did it. Never did it. Never did it. Never did it. Happened multiple occasions and I just assumed what the guy was saying was the opposite of the truth. Same thing with this landlord. Every time I've talked to him, they've said they're going to do something. They do the opposite. They got a knife behind their back. Three days later, they put something ridiculous in like email or writing. But uh, whatever, Let, let's show you guys what's going on today. I, th I think we have some new products, some restocks. My guys are eating lunch downstairs, so it's nice and quiet up here. They got about three pallets of orders done already. I didn't have time to do it today, but we actually have all of the spices and seasonings that are gonna be used for the new hot dog. So I gotta make these myself, ship them over to uh, the butcher shop, and he's gonna use these. And these are actually cloth bags. So guys, I put a lot of time and effort and I guess you could say love into everything I do, so you know, no one else is going to use all organic spices, shipping them in cloth bags, land salt, to, to really do the highest quality product possible. So hopefully I can do that tomorrow. For the most part, everything is in stock on Frankie's Free Range Foods, guys. We got plenty of pemmican, which you guys have been buying a lot of. We just restocked to the flavored jerky, and we're going to try to get some plain jerky back in this week. So uh, water kefir grains is back, which a lot of you guys have been asking me for, but we should have the water kefir grains consistently now at an affordable price. And also, I'll show you guys later the orange kefir, which is new. But uh, let's jump in the freezer real quick to see what's going on. So you guys know we have the Wagyu strip and the Wagyu ribeye steaks, but we did get a deal on some uh, smaller portioned Wagyu strip steaks. So if you guys want to try these out, these are a bit smaller, as, in, as I said, more affordable. We have all the broths in stock, guys. Both the collagen broth and the chicken stock are available now on frankiesfreerangemeat.com. The beef cheeks are back in stock too. These are a bit larger, but you guys have been buying these. All of the chicken is restocked. Guys, we've got the whole chicken, chicken breast, chicken thighs, chicken tenders. More importantly, we have a new product, guys. This is the Iberico strip steak. So normally we've been selling these as like the whole loin, which is pretty expensive because it's a heavy piece of meat. But these are nice six ounce portions. Strip as well as the rib chop. The rib chops, uh, a little more expensive than the strip obviously but both really really nicely portioned small steak perfect for kids have a few for an adult these are under the iberico pork section i don't know if i showed you guys we have these uh five pound bulk bags of sirloin stew meat which i got a deal on so 
uh, you guys get a nice discount of price on that. It's a lot, but I guess if you want stew for a family for a day or two, that's what you'd use it for. I did want to apologize. Uh, we ran out of beef liver this week, guys, so there are some orders that are delayed. Uh, I've emailed everyone to let you guys know if you'd like to just cancel the order or you can just wait a few days and we'll try to send it out. And hopefully, in addition to the beef liver, uh, we'll also be restocking some other products this week. So that's kind of it on the meat end. Uh, still trying to find a source of the marrow bones, still trying to find some tendons. But you know, since we have the, the collagen broth, it's not as big of a deal. In the fridge, we have our freshly sliced roast beef, which I will gladly take some home for lunch. And all the cheeses, guys, most of them are in stock. So Wi-Fi shielding in Frankie's Naturals. We don't really have anything new going on. I've been trying to tell you guys for the past, uh, I guess, month or so that I, I'm trying to get some new stuff and restock something. So hopefully in another month, month and a half, we do have that stuff. Mainly restocking the t-shirts, the underwear, and uh, the hair pomade on the Frankie's Naturals. I mentioned this last week, but we are doing kind of like a liquidation on the organ supplements, the bovine powders and everything. So guys, check the website. Let me know how the price point is. I, I might lower it a little more, even though I, I really don't think I should. Uh, so everything, guys, the heart, the liver, beef testicles, full spectrum organs, pancreas. And you guys have also been buying a lot of the different minerals, vitamin K2, vitamin D3. We have the mastigum available, of course, and the magnesium oil, magnesium spray. I told you guys last week as well, uh, the restaurant supplier did not have any organic pineapples. So uh, we're going to have the orange water kefir, which is now available. So frankie3rangefoods.com guys, we still have some pineapple kefir left in stock. We have the apple lemon, we have the orange and we have the regular. So quite a few flavors, but uh, I don't really have anything else to go over today. And as I said, guys, I'd like to get out of here and lay in the sun a little bit. Hopefully I feel better. So I know a lot of you guys are dependent on me for you know your food every week and are probably wondering what's gonna happen with the business. Realistically, I, I think we're just gonna kinda have to stay down here for another two or three years, even if it's a little bit ugly with the landlord um, because as I've stated many times, I'm broke and I cannot afford to relocate by any means. And there's too many logistical issues with that. Me having my current employees, I don't know if I could really hire and train new trustworthy people. It's just too much, too much involved. But if you guys do want to support me, you can check out all the businesses on frank stefancom guys. A lot of interesting products on there. Go on there, check it out. But uh, if you guys can please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Uh, I, don't, I don't. I'll see how I feel tomorrow, guys. I maybe I'm not going to do an educational video. Just we'll see.